Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm so excited about. The Victoria's Secret Fashion Show was um, live a couple weeks ago and it's airing today. I saw a little bit of the Snapchats behind the scenes and I looked up some of the makeup and hairstyles and how they achieved it so I thought I would recreate it for you so that you could kind of get an inside look on how they get ready for the fashion show. The look that they rocked was very soft and tousled and I think it was a little bit different with the eye look this year. It was very natural but they put a little bit of an olive gold on the eye instead of a neutral bronze kind of gold color so it kind of gave a little bit of a twist to the look which I'm all for it I absolutely love the makeup they wear this look is not hard to achieve it just enhances your natural beauty which I'm all for so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get started okay so for my base I used my Illamasqua matte veil primer and the Illamasqua skin base in number nine these are both samples and I've been trying them out this foundation is so nice I thought it would be for like dry skin because it is a dewy finish but it has been incredible on my skin I've tested it out for a couple days I just love the way it wears it gives us my mom's texting me <laughs> it just gives a satin finish and it's just very skin like so it's not like too full coverage and it's not very sheer it's just that nice your skin but better finish and I thought that would be perfect for Victoria's Secret since they all look like they were born with perfect angelic skin for concealer I didn't want anything too heavy just something sheer and that lifts underneath my eyes so I'm using my Maybelline Lumi touch concealer I'm pretty sure it rubbed off but I'll definitely leave it below I'm not gonna put this crazy everywhere just in areas I want to enhance so down the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose around my eyes mostly just so that it's lifted around my nose and my chin I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender which is cracking it like broke in different areas which is such a bummer because I just got it I still love it but I don't really know if I should return it because I haven't had it for that long and it already broke which is really annoying so let me know what I should do should I return it should I complain I just don't want to be without it because I really do love it just to make sure everything does stay in place, I don't want to set my entire face. I just want to set wherever I put the concealer. I'm going to take the trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder and my Sigma F35 brush. I don't know why I have to look every time because I'm pretty sure it's the only brush that I would ever use for setting my um, concealers. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes, just a sheer coverage because it's nothing too heavy. We don't want to look powdery, like the last thing we want to look. So it's just really so that there's no creasing with our concealer. Now for the rest of the skin, they didn't have any intense contour. It was quite light and golden goddess kind of look. So I'm just going to take a warm tone bronzer and I'm going to use the Collection Bronze Glow in the matte shade. I'm going to use it as if I was just out in the sun all day and I'm a little bit sun kissed. I'm not going to contour with it. We're not going to contour at all because they really didn't have a contour. They just looked like bronze goddesses. And then for the glow part, we're going to add that with some illuminators. I'm going to be taking this on a loud makeup dome shape brush. I've been loving this for my bronzer lately and just putting this where the sun would naturally hit my face. For blush, I'm going to use my Sigma 4 Cute Color, which is a really, looks like a bubblegum pink, but just a pop of this on the apples of my cheek and it just brings that nice rosy glow to the look. For their glow, they had a nice pearl kind of purple pink um, illuminator on their cheeks and anywhere they wanted to glow. So I'm going to mix two different highlighters. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Highlighter because it has that pearl white gold kind of effect. And then I also got a tester of the Illamasqua Pigment in, it looks like a lavender color. It's Furor or I really don't know what she wrote on this. I'm gonna have to link that below But it just gives the most beautiful lavender pearl iridescent look So I'm just gonna mix those together and pop that on my cheeks nose inner corner of my eyes and anywhere else I want a little bit more of that angelic glow. So taking it on a Mac dual fiber stippling brush I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and Just stipple that on to the tops of my cheeks this is such a pretty pigment. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the camera's catching it, but it's just so perfect for this look. I absolutely love it. Gives a little hint of color as well. Make me wait when you know I got a hard time safe I'm gonna pop a little bit on my collarbones as well just so that it catches the light. I really, really like that pigment. It's so pretty. It just gives such a nice lavender pearl kind of glow to the look. Feeling it. 
For brows, they did actually have quite a defined brow. Not like super intense, but it was filled in and quite um, fluffy and brushed out. So I'm just going to brush mine out with my perfect brow pencil in soft brown and just fill in the sparse areas. Nothing more than that, but I do want it to look defined and have a little bit of structure. brows in place and add a little bit more of that bronze glow I'm gonna add the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and caramel for eyeshadow I'm gonna use Urban Decay sideline which I think is the perfect kind of effect because it's that olive kind of gold color that they used it wasn't a full gold this year it had a little bit of that greeny undertone in it so this shadow is perfect for the look for liner, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Gel Black Liner and just really putting it in my lash line and just kind of bringing it out just a little bit, but then we're going to be smudging it with my um, Sigma, what brush is this? E55 brush just to give it a more um, blended, softer look. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Just a couple coats because we are going to be putting on some lashes just to enhance the outer corner of the eye. Okay, so the lashes I used were the Charisma number no. 2 lashes and I just cut them in half so that they would be more at the side. They're very natural. It's just like adding an extra layer of your normal lash line so it's nothing too overpowering. It just gives a little bit more drama to the look. So for lips, I'm going to go and outline my lips with MAC Staunchly Stylish which is a nice mauvey light pink color. I'm not going to over apply this liner just so that it gives um, a more natural effect to the lip and it's not too stark. For lipstick, I'm going to be taking my recent obsession, and it's the L'Oreal Nude Collection by like their ambassadors, and I picked up the JLo one, which I don't look anything like JLo or have anything similar to her, but it was the one that stood out to me, and I just think it's perfect for this look. So I'm just going to apply this, and then maybe put a little bit of gloss on top. For a little bit of gloss, I'm going to use the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in Aurora, which that's my favorite Disney princess, so I had to pick this up. And just going to pop that on just for a little bit of sheen. Okay, so for hair, I saw a little bit of the Snapchats of the backstage of hair and makeup when it was happening. So I saw that they used the Beach Waver, which I don't have, but I'm just going to use my Kiss In Styler, which kind of curls it for you. For this look, it's very effortless and tousled. It's not too um, structured or perfect. So I'm going to do every curl away from my face just because we are brushing it out after because it is more of just a soft, tousled wave. Um, I'm going to leave the bottoms of my hair out. I'm not going to curl those because I want those to be a little bit straighter for length. I did put in two clips of my Lexi Hair Extensions in Dirty Blonde just to add a little bit of fullness. They are the same length as my hair, so they're not really adding any length. It's just fullness. So I'm just cutting my hair completely in half. I did have a shower, and how I blow dried it was blow drying all my hair up. I saw that in the Snapchats, they were just blow drying the hair so that it was a natural volume and not teasing. So blow dry your hair. Um, kind of upside down if you want and so that your root is a little bit lifted instead of teasing and breaking your hair. So I'm going to go ahead with the instyler and just take little inch thick pieces and wrap them away from my face. I'm going to leave the bottom section out so that that's not being touched by the heat and that's going to add length to our hair. and then just taking it out and that's what it should look like. So I'm gonna do all this side facing away from my face and then all of this side facing away from my face and then at the end, we're gonna brush it out. Okay, so what I saw the hairstylist do was take a hairbrush and some hairspray, I'm using the VO5 Extra Hold, and spray the brush and then brush through the hair so that every single curl has a little bit of hold in it, but it also just really smooths it out. 
So it should look something like that, just very effortless and a very tousled wave. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side and the top section. So that's it for my Victoria's Secret inspired fashion show for 2015 hair and makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!